blunt trauma to the head, resulting in extensive cranial trauma, severe brain damage, and multiple skull fractures. This isn't the post-mortem of a person. These horrific injuries belong to a Pomeranian male dog who was bashed to death by his owner in Sengkang on August the 18th this year. Although investigations by the police, Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority, or AVA, and Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or SPCA, have been carried out, the person responsible has yet to be found. It all happened at Block 267B Compassvale Link, where some residents heard of the vicious attack. He got here, saw um, the uh, dog bark very loud. Oh, is it? My friend got here. Oh, is it? Okay, your friend lives here? Yeah. I saw, heard someone screaming. Uh. What about the dog sounds or dog barks? Uh, not really. Never heard a sound. But you but, heard someone screaming? Yeah, very loud. The man shouting or something like that, oh. screaming, then bent the dog. Was it seem very like bloody? Uh, I don't dare to see actually. I heard that it is quite terrible. It's the the dog, quite loud. The owner was believed to have repeatedly thrown his dog against the wall till it died. Although none of the residents witnessed the scene at hand, they were still able to give us a brief description of the culprit. It's a guy quite tall with spec. Yeah, I didn't really look look at the killer lah. Okay. Yeah. Do you think he lives around here? I'm not too sure. I, I heard that he walked to the back. I think he stays somewhere around the, those blocks behind. I heard from Rasi members that uh, those who heard of the case from police, la, he was uh, in, in his 40s, a Chinese race. Uh, he's uh, unfamiliar face yeah, in, in this area. He's probably Seng Kang. La. If not, he wouldn't be having... Yeah, probably still staying Seng, but not, not uh, this, this few blocks. La. In a bid to identify and nap the culprit, the SPCA and a group of 11 animal lovers pledged more than $3,400 as a reward. However, even though the reward has now reached $15,650, no one has come forward yet with information. Maybe he sounded too scary or what? Yeah. Oh, so that people actually afraid of him, you think? Uh, yeah, afraid of him. Maybe there are people who witnessed the thing but they want to be bothered by it because they might worry that, you know, it would be some troubles or things like that. There's someone that usually patron the Kopitiam. Mm-hmm. She even video the, the guy who killed the dog, wow. I think. Yeah. I think yeah, the store holder, they recognise the person. No? They say mm-hmm. they recognise, but I, I yeah. don't know why they can't catch the... Catch yeah, I don't know why yeah. also. Indeed, some patrons of the coffee shop next to the block had witnessed what happened. A hawker there who also saw the deed refused to be interviewed. But he told Shimin Daily News that a man in his 40s had earlier approached him asking to borrow a knife. The man had been leading the dog by a leash. I thought Singaporean love the pack very much. Yeah. Uh, quite surprising. Uh. Sad to see this thing happen. Uh. It's just yeah. a dog. Uh. You, don't, you don't have enemies. Uh. You know? <laughs> Throw by people is very bad. Uh. Yeah, it's really cruel. This is not the first incident. Uh. In, in fact, for the past few years, there, there have always been all this... Uh, People writing in for, forums, um, you know, uh, saying that oh, come every time when there's an incident happen like that, not many Singaporeans willing to step forward. I, I believe we should do more, more of um, national education. In our next clip, find out the top three neglected or abandoned dog breeds in Singapore.